Here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. Good Friday afternoon, everyone. I'm Jason Laird. It's time for your farm and ranch news. The USDA's National uh, Resource Conservation Service, or NRCS, is offering additional funding through its Environmental Quality Incentives Program, or EQIP, to target honeybee pollinator resource concerns here in Montana this year. The NRCS will work with agricultural producers to combat future declines. They'll do so by helping producers implement conservation practices that provide forage for honeybees while enhancing habitat for other pollinators and wildlife. EQIP offers financial and technical assistance to eligible participants to install or implement structural and management practices on eligible agricultural land. Conservation practices must be up to date with NRCS standards and specifications. The NRCS accepts EQIP applications on a continuous basis. However, the NRCS has a deadline that's going to be May 10th, 2019 to apply for this year's incentive programs. Well, in national news, it's not just Montana experiencing significant snow melt throughout the area. Farmers in Oregon are also underwater. Oregon farmer Bart Edwards tells us that rising water levels have drowned out some of his land and will impact his crop this year. In a way, it's kind of frustrating that you get the fertilizer on it and you get that much rain on top of the fertilizer. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping everything's still there and it's, it, everything will start jumping here when the weather warms up. Thankfully, the local farm service agency in his area has multiple programs to help farmers with damaged land. In this case, they'll help to clean up that debris on his farmland brought by the floodwaters. And welcome back. The USDA's National Agricultural Statistics Service released the 2017 Census of Agriculture on Thursday. It's highlighting several key data points important to Montana's agricultural industry. The Census of Agriculture is a complete count of U.S. farmers and ranchers and the people who operate them. Now, the Census of Agriculture is taken only once every five years. It looks at land use and ownership, along with operator characteristics, production practices, and income expeditors, uh, income as well. Now, one more significant data point from the report is that farm income in Montana is down nearly 30% since 2012. Now, the loss in farm income shows that Montana farmers have not been immune to the higher input costs, extreme weather, and market volatility. Now, there is also several bright spots to point out with this report. Women are making up a large piece of the Montana agricultural pie with nearly 24% more female producers since 2012. Montana producers also continue to show their willingness to adopt new technologies and conservation techniques with no-till acreage. That's up 17% from 2012. And coming up on Sunday's Montana Egg Network feature, you're of course, we were forced this last winter to deal with below freezing temperatures for over a month. It's hard to look on the bright side when you have conditions like that. And although it's tough on agriculture, the snow came just in time. Following a rather mild start to the winter, snow fell in just the right time to blanket and protect winter wheat crops before brutally cold temperatures and weather set in to help blanket conditions and block out a lot of that damaging wind as well. We'll have a more in-depth, detailed look at the impacts from this last winter coming up on Sunday's Montana Egg Network feature. Hope to see you there. And to stay up to date with everything agriculture, make sure you check us out on Facebook. Just search Montana Egg Network on Facebook. Well, that's all the time we have for now. I'm Jason Laird with the Montana Egg Network. Have a great weekend, everybody.